when you're going through what service mesh to use, what ingress to use, you're going to see a trend. Now this trend is from, you know, anything from just bloggers to engineers writing blogs to literally coming directly from CNCF. And that trend is Istio. Now Istio is arguably the number one right now, at least right now at the time of recording this, service mesh used for a few reasons. Number one, it is pretty vetted out. Number two, it does come with an ingress controller so you can kind of package that up together. And number three, I would say that it has a fair amount of documentation to get yourself up and running from a production perspective. Now, in the one video that we did around Istio, we installed it just like this on Minikube using Istio CTL. But chances are, if you are in production, you're probably going to use something like Helm or another method for installing versus just using Istio CTL. And of course, in production, you're probably not installing on Minikube. So from a production perspective, let's learn how to get an ingress controller and Istio service mesh up and running right from the terminal. So first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the Helm chart for Istio. We're going to ensure that it's up to date. Clear the screen here. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to create our namespace. Now, just to confirm here, if I run kubectl get nodes, I am running in AKS. However, it doesn't really matter where you're running at this point. It should work in any case. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the kubectl create namespace to get that Istio namespace up and running kubectl get namespace. We can see that it is right here, so we're good to go there. Next, let's go ahead and actually install Istio itself. So let's go ahead and run that. And now, of course, as we can see, we are installing it in the Istio system namespace. All right, and as we can see, it is deployed successfully, which is awesome. Next, we're gonna deploy the discovery chart. Go ahead and we'll run that via Helm as well. And if you're not familiar with the discovery chart, it essentially just deploys the Istio D service. And this can take a little bit because it's waiting for Istio to actually get up and running and then the service gets deployed. So if it takes a few minutes, don't be alarmed. As we can see, that was deployed successfully. So let me go ahead and clear my screen here. Actually, we can just confirm this here really quick. If we scroll up, we can see that Istio D successfully installed. Clear the screen. Next, what we can do is install the ingress controller. So as you can see, it's going to be installed in a different namespace called Istio ingress. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create that namespace. Next, let's go ahead and label that namespace Istio ingress and we'll set up the key value pair for Istio injection equals enabled. And then finally, we'll go ahead and install that ingress controller. Okay. And as we can see, that was installed successfully. So that's how you can get your environment up and running with Istio. Now, I do want to show one more thing. So let's head over to the web browser really quick. Now, there is something called install multi-cluster and install Istio with an external control plane. So what we did, and honestly, what a lot of people end up doing is they install Istio right on the Kubernetes cluster, just like we did with Helm. However, that doesn't always have to be the case. So as you can see here, you can actually have Istio D running on a separate cluster and then it connects to remote clusters. Now, if you have a large environment, I would actually say that you should do this because you're going to want to have multiple Kubernetes clusters connecting via service mesh. You don't want to have to have multiple service meshes running all over the place. So because of that, having it as like an external source would make sense in that case. But of course, this is going to depend on your environment, depend on the use case, etc. However, if you do want to do it, here's the installation method that allows you to get through that. Thank you.